Now, as well as the other upload targets like Azure, Amazon S3 and YouTube, we can choose our output as a blob. So essentially with this, we can just do whatever we want. We're not technically uploading it anywhere. It's within the browser. We can go ahead and send it off to a back end if we want. We can place it straight into a video player, which is exactly what we're going to look at doing. Or the user can then go ahead and save this to their computer, which we're also going to cover. So let's take a look at changing this over. And we need to change a couple of things over here. So when we change the output to blob, now we don't have anything uploading. So instead we use the on video created method. So let's take a look at what this looks like and then we'll go ahead and do some really cool things with this. Let's pull over a video and go ahead and submit it. And now that's done in the console, you'll see a file. So this is a JavaScript file interface. This will give us the name of the video, which is always really helpful. Uh, it will give us the type. In our case, it's a video MP4 because it's already been compressed by ClipChamp all within the browser. And we have a load of other stuff as well. We don't really need to worry too much about this. What we need to worry about is how we can maybe get this straight into a video player or allow it to be downloaded to the user's computer. So to do this, we're going to first of all look at an HTML5 video player. So we're going to create a HTML5 video player on here. The source, obviously, we don't need at the moment. You can include an empty source. I suppose it doesn't really matter. And in here, let's just create an ID of video player and we'll allow some controls on there as well. So now in here, we can take that blob and we can set it directly into the video player. So it's not being uploaded anywhere. It's just being displayed on the page. And of course, you can use that, then send it off to your backend maybe. And of course, in the project we're going to do in the next section, we're going to look at exactly how we do that. So let's just go and target our video player and we're going to change this source attribute. Now we can't just say video. What we want to do is say window URL create object URL and we just pass that file into there or that blob. And that is it. What we've now done is we've gone ahead and allowed this to be shown in that video player. So we'll see this kind of empty video player here. We can go ahead and test this by dragging over a video and submitting. And that will do all its usual stuff. And of course, it won't upload it. It will just place that directly into this player. And of course, this could be great if you were allowing your user to preview a video outside of ClipChamp. So maybe on your own web page. And then you can go ahead and allow them to save this. You can send that off to your back end and store it however you want to. So the next thing we're going to look at is really interesting. We're going to allow the user to download the video. So let's just go and get rid of our HTML5 player for now, just so it doesn't get in the way. And we're going to use a dependency called filesaver.js. So if we head over to CDN.js, let's go over and search for filesaver. There it is. And we can go ahead and copy the minified JavaScript here. So let's pull this into our project here inside of a script tag. And this is super simple to use. You can check out the filesaver.js documentation on GitHub if you go and click on this link. But it is literally as simple as saying save as and then going ahead and giving the actual video like so. And then the file name. So in our case, let's just call it video.mp4. So just with that, that's all we need to do with the power of ClipChamp and that nice dependency. We can go and upload a video like so. Go ahead and submit it. And you can see if I just pull this up a little bit, that this has now been downloaded. So I can go ahead and click on this. And you can see if I just pull over my player here, this has now been downloaded directly to my computer really straightforward stuff. So here you have almost complete control. In fact, you have complete control over the video that you've uploaded using ClipChamp. And you might be thinking, well, what's the point in doing this? Well, ClipChamp, remember, is compressing the video for you. It's doing everything that would take you so much time and energy to actually do yourself. So it's all done within the browser, not going anywhere else. And you can either pop it straight into a video player, send it over to your back end, 
or you can use something like this if you wanted the user to download the video and then they have a nice compressed video downloaded to the computer.